Hi, welcome to a tutorial about Arca Linux B. We are now 20 September 2018 and we've moved all the projects, all the articles from Arca Linux B of about Arca Linux B to its proper website. It's going to be much better because we came to appreciate and to see the valor of uh, Arca Linux B. We give you the power to create an Arca Linux ISO the way you see fit. If you don't want LibreOffice, if you do want LibreOffice, if you want um, Steam on it or anything really, you can change everything. Okay, so it's now on this specific uh, website, articlenixb.com, and you will have here all the links. This is another new one, but that is explained in, on the new, uh, in the news on Linux info. <coughs> but the thing is that we are making a tutorial also about Arc Linux D this time. So this was okay, we, this exists already and it's just a move from one side to another, but this one is new. So if you want to make an Arc Linux D in between time, so we have releases, monthly releases, so after our release you can always build another one if you want to yourself. So that's what this video is about, how to build an Arc Linux D and do not change anything just the way we do it and then put it on SourceForge. We're going to follow the procedure, git clone, control C, go down here, open on the desktop for instance, we go to the desktop and in here we say let's git clone this thing, control shift V. This means that we get a dump of all the files that are online and what we should do is go to installation scripts, I always do it like this, right mouse click, open terminal, make this one here so it's big. So this is my layout to know I'm building things here, I can't shut the computer down, I need to follow it up. So he wants to know my password, so that's fine. And that's basically it, now you can walk away and come back and you'll see that an ISO has been built and it's going to be moved in a particular folder, we've changed that in the script, that's new. Uh, so you can always edit this file here, open with any of the possibilities here, Sublime Text for instance, it's on screen 2. So it's going to be moved in Arc Linux D out. So that's a folder that's going to be created and it's going to be in there, the new ISO. Let's uh, pause the video because this is going to take, well, uh, approximately 15 minutes to build and a lot of um, CPU power, so if you have multiple cores, do run our script to have all cores available. So what am I talking about? In Eric, Control H, in the bin, in the main, we have here a script, use all cores, and particularly to build something that is going to improve the time. All right, let's pause and continue later. Okay, it's out. You can see at the uh, hours here, down here, how long it took and we have a 938 megabytes ISO that's ready and it's going to be in this Arc Linux D out. So Eric, Control H, Arc Linux B out, Arc Linux D out is this one and this one is from today. You can always press Control Shift 2 and then you see more information and it's from 1813 so that's exactly the, the correct one and then of course if you build something you should test something right so in my case it's uh, super f7 if you haven't changed anything then you get this uh, virtual box and in this case i don't have anything ready yet so i'm going to clone a template that i've made ready i'm going to call it latest after linux d so in this virtual box i always test the d version going to go to Arculan D out that's the one I just created open it up click here that's here that's fine correct and let's try it out so that's the fun you can uh, box and at the end of the day you say okay everything is fine I've built 10 ISOs this time it's good this is what I want and then you put it on an SSD so this is the standard uh, installer, you know them by now, by heart. I guess I've done it a thousand times. And you just go for 
your name that you like to see and your choices in here and off we go the installation is faster of course than other installations this is, this is only uh, one well 935 megabyte or one terabyte so let's pause anyway almost finished here 93 percent so i started recording again restart restart now done and then sometimes it hangs depends days depends of updates and all that so if it doesn't restart just click up here power of the machine is the best choice okay and then do it again now of course you don't want to have the first line that's a dvd we do want to go straight to the hard disk which is a virtual hard disk virtual box and there we are and then we go test if everything is okay we can do an update but first first things first depending on where you are you want of course the fastest arch linux servers around mirror an alias is relying on reflector and he's going to look out for the fastest servers these days i do th two things the update so that's arch and arco linux and then everything that's coming from the aor so that's in this case nothing okay so that's um article next d we haven't changed anything this is the iso we'll put online when we are let's say uh, the 10th or something like that the 10th of the month we freeze everything and the 15th the iso is uploaded this is how to build article d yourself